Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Ashley's and Reality Bond Derby. Today's episode is the second part of the last episode that I did yesterday. So a party pooper go back in time and that party pooper is lost. Um, this episode, uh, it's kinda my favorite episode of all episodes that Lily made. I, I love it, sorry, I love it. Um, so yeah, the credits are given all to Lily she makes because she made the characters and the story and the series. I'm just, I'm just dubbing it and adding effects. So, uh, I'm gonna say that she always put the this in the description that the fact that her content is for 13 plus audiences, so I'm gonna say it. And after this long talk, again and again, we can start. Enjoy! Warning, this video contains gore, death, flashlights, disturbing imagery and loud noises. I came around this area, I think. No clip from the ceiling. Ah oh, yep, that's a classic one. Do you think you have any ideas? Nah man, sorry. Do you think Saru knows? He might have an idea, but he does have to finish resetting the destruction trap. Doesn't that just take about 5 minutes? It takes about 10 here. Oh, well, I can still wait. It's alright, I'll go check. Sup? Hello, Void. How's coming, my dude? Quite well. Is something needed? We're waiting for you out there, dude. Do not worry. I'll be sure to finish soon. The trap does not resonate on its own. Alright, I'll leave you to your magic. Whoa, 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 what happened? Oh, we're just giving our ideas. Ah, gotcha. Anyways. So, after no clipping through the wall, I fell towards the darkness, and then I landed on the floor here. Okay, what level were you on exactly? 188. Wait, was it the windows? No, I said it was by a door through the wall. Right, my bad. Are you suggesting I go back to a level? It could work. Or he'll move farther away. But that means something possible to me. So, when did you get here? I just finished resetting the destructive strap. I'll throw a sea war, it may not work. Don't worry, dude. It's been working just fine. I suppose you're right. Now, here are my suggestion. Lethargy, you remember the Wanderer who we lost when his sanity began to drain? Yeah. Do you remember this? The clipping clip? Couldn't forget. What is the clipping clip? I know this one. It's a little clip thing that can help you to control where you no clip. So yes, it does alter time and no reality with high magnetic fields, is what the wanderer said. And if you don't know where you're going, it could be dangerous. It has only a chance of working properly, since no clipping is and will always be unpredictable and uncontrollable in a certain way. It is your choice, Lost. I'll do it. Alright. This may take a while, try to hold still. Got it. So, the one who made this clip? Yes. And it goes on the neck. Yes. That wanderer must be an advanced or something. Oh. Like I said, try not to move. Right, sorry. Also, yes, he was advanced. Which is why we find it strange how he lets his sanity go so fast. Almost as if on purpose. 
If you say destructance is commonly around so much that you need a trap to keep it away, do you think that is what just victimizing that one room? Most likely, she will be worse than the party guards, no matter how aggressive they become towards us. Is that who tied? No. Okay, almost done. Why are you all so friends with the party guard here? Uh. Ha! Ah! Uh. No, wait. I I'm sorry. It was a reflex, I swear. Lost, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I just got the wine knock out of me. What? Oh, I guess it's another one that return. Over here, lost. I suppose I shall answer now. A throw. I'm sure you have figured by now that. Yes, I was. Was it paint? Yes, it was paint. But the way he turned around when we asked something simple only makes me angrier. <sighs> Back to our main topic. The clip will take a while to just with, say, 20 minutes or so. Alright. Um, so, you're just gonna embrace some bar doing what you wait? Yeah, and I don't want to cause any more changes than I have. Even if that means stay away completely. You should come and hang out with us, man. I know it's about the clip, but you don't have to be in a total focus to adjust. I'd know, because I tested it out too. And I also know you could use some company, dude. When you wanna join us, we're in the learning room across the hall three down. It's an interesting section on levels 100 and 920. I miss listening to lessons. A lot. Loss ended up to go into the classroom. I figured they couldn't bother the lecturers anyway. So no change will occur. Letting out a long, yet quiet, sigh of relief as he sat on the desk in the classroom. He laid his head down while listening. The lights were dimmed as the teacher spoke. But Loss could still see everyone else around him clearly. He could only think of how this truly was happening, and he was not alone now, or at least for that time. As the teacher explained basic knowledge to have when it came to level 930, and when went into detail, Loss would slowly look around. He eventually forgot about the clip around his neck and his stress melted away, as if known it had never happened. It seems so calm. I just remember the clip clip. How much longer is it? Maybe then, possibly. Can't tell. I see you decide to come. To be honest, I couldn't help it. Well, you only need to wait five more minutes or so, and then you should be good to go. Right. Hey, that actually a person. Uh, what about her? You say you successfully led her back to her front rooms, right? Yeah. Have you ever imagined what the front rooms are like? Plenty of times. It must be a strange world from what I've heard, though. Organized, busy, almost no sense of life. Yeah, something like that. Dude, am I hearing things? Or do I hear crawling on the ceiling? Oh, no! 
I think I forgot to reset the trap. I thought the destruction all attacks people losing sanity. Well, in this world, she changed those of standards while ago, man. Huh? It stopped? Huh? That didn't sound very good. That's it. I'm going to go from this thing. You really shouldn't, man. Void I. If anything, I'm coming with you. You shouldn't have to. You're not the void in you. Anyways, it's been out to me. Do I act any different? No, you're the exact same. I'm going with you two! Looks like you have no choice. Like I said, you're the exact same. Let's dispose of this thing. How long it been since you reset it? It's an hour or so between the resets. Time passes fast in the classrooms. I know. I sent lethargy to reset it. You will know you are nearby her head once you are, trust me. Many times. Like I can count. Understandable. Dude, it's just me or no. That's blood. Looks like this shrapnel feels like cutting people open today. We have to make this quick. Especially considering how large it is. If anything, we do our best to give Lethargy time to finish sneaking off the trap and resetting it. Huh? When I say so. Wait. What? Shh. Uh, hey, Lost. Why does it to be quiet? I mean, to other Lost. Scared me. Where's sorrow? Sh she. Oh. Wait. Where is this instructant? You brought it there, didn't you? Well. Dude, we need you to get you back. No, man. Thanks for watching. Yes, it's the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed, guys, and I hope that Little Chimix is watching this, and I really hope you will like it. And uh, I super spent really much on this, like more than the usual, and I really loved dubbing this. Really, really loved. Also, poor Sorrow. It, it, it's my favorite character, and I'm, I'm so sorry for him. Really. And also, I really enjoyed doing the distracting voice, to be honest. Anyways, this was this, uh, this was a party for Burgos back in time, part two, and by a little she makes. I really hope you enjoyed. Well, hugs from Italy. Bye bye.